Uh, today was pretty special. We had a wonderful ride in some wonderful weather on our cross plane R1. Got home and got the decorating done for Halloween with our grandson, and it was just a great day. Uh, today is one of the fun days we have every year in this family. I get to go out for a ride on the R1 this morning, take a nice ride, and tonight, after school, Miles is coming over and we're going to decorate the whole house for Halloween. And every year we have enjoyed this. It's been a lot of fun. But the most important thing, i got to get out on the R1 and get my exercise. Now, it seems like every day here in the uh, shop starts off pretty much the same. I've got to get the bike cleaned up and that involves a lot of things since the last time I rode the bike we did go through some rain I wanted to do a real good job of cleaning it up and what I did I tried this ceramic wax that we used with the clay bar just to see how it would work on the windshield and I put a nice coat on the wheels it seemed like it worked re worked really well on the uh, on the wheels I was really impressed and the wheels of course take the most beating of anything on the bike when you even if you don't ride in the rain and I wanted to do the chain anytime it rains I want to have the chain done and maintaining the bike now I enjoy doing it because I've had this bike since new and I don't I don't want to just see it deteriorate and turn into a rust bucket so I'm willing to put the time and by the way this is why I have three layers of carpeting in my garage count them <laughs> because I spend a lot of time on my back like that anyway and get the bike out once it's prepped of course pre-flight it look around see that nothing's loose nothing's uh hanging off a lot of people don't do it i check the air every time i ride the bike i'm going to be somewhere where it's going to be real inconvenient if i picked up a nail the day before and i have 18 pounds of air in a tire and it's worse when it's the front tire when you start losing a handling in the middle of a ride it's horrible As soon as I got out to the riding area, I realized the leaves are starting to really come out into the road. And we're in that part of the year, and the roads were still a little bit wet, so it was it was a good day to play it cool. Now I have been very cautious of having the Pirelli Angels in really wet conditions and slippery. You can see the leaves are everywhere. The, the main roads are fine, but the back roads are really choked up with leaves and slippery spots. And this bike has no traction control at all. Once you get into the back roads like this, where there's shady spots, the two thing, the visual, sometimes you don't see the wet spot, what a slippery spot, or the leaves. But a lot of times, then you'll come out into the, see the sun right up ahead, and the, the traction will be fine. But if you're in there uh, just a little bit uh, peppy, a little bit too fast, eh, it, it can make your day uh, relatively exciting.
And today, the way the weather played out, I just don't think it gets any better than this. We are in the high 60s, low 70s. Time for winter riding gear, not summer riding gear. I always feel more comfortable with the uh, the extra armor in, uh, and the, the gauntlet gloves, a little more protection. And just having that cool breeze, so nice. And a combination of having a quiet exhaust and a radar detector, I don't think you can get a lot more stealth than that. Because I think of the opposite thing, when this bike used to have the louder exhaust, and I did not have the radar detector yet, but it was a whole different ball game. That makes it so much nicer in this area. And this whole area has so many lakes. If you look at a map, it, there must be a hundred lakes in this part of the uh, northern New Jersey. Well, southern New York's the same way. Anyway, there's mountains, there's a lot of lakes, a lot of elevation changes, a lot of lakes, a lot of back roads, just, just a little bit of everything, just to change it up every once in a while. Every time I stop the bike to take some pictures or video, I look at it and I think, what a good choice it was doing those wheels silver. I had other thoughts in mind. I'm glad John Pothia helped me with all the Photoshop and glad that color silver, beautiful with the blue. Now this bike, this is the second chain that's been on the bike, and when I replace the chain, I replace the rear sprocket with a Sprox. The it's a gold anodized aluminum sprocket built with with steel teeth around the edge, S P R O X X. It's a real high quality accessory, and it works great. And once you get out on the uh, the double yellow line roads, it's it's clear sailing. There are not many leaves out there. The trees haven't really started to change yet. And some people enjoy high speeding it down on a double yellow road. I kind of like getting off the main road just a little bit in this area. And after 13 years and 35,000 plus miles, I just think the bike, it's safe to say it stood the test of time. It's reliable. It, it never strands you. It, it has been a good piece of machinery right from day one. Thank you, Yamaha.
Now, of course, everybody has a different place they enjoy riding or a different little combination of roads. This area works for me, and it's so eclectic. I never have two days that are even close to being the same. One of the things that drew me to this bike right in the very beginning when it first came out the cross plane engine and the sound and the sound of the ones that actually when they're on a professional riders riding on a track day oh man i watched josh hayes down at millville and i knew right away this bike was for me And the way I have it set up with the bars that fit me, the mirrors that I can see out the back of, I've made significant amount of changes to because it's really a track focused bike when you buy it. And I really wanted a street focused bike, but I wanted a street focused bike with the full horsepower R1 engine and I got it. And some of the lakes, they still have lily pads, but I didn't see a single lily today. We have one of the lakes that we go by all the time that has, always has turtles sunning themselves on the rocks. Every lake is different, and you never know which ones are going to be in bloom or not in bloom. And in the winter, we go down this way, and they're ice fishing out on the lakes. It's pretty cool. And this bike, no matter what road you're on, no matter how much you, you try not to, you just get the look ahead of you, there's no cause in front of you, and you got to go through the gears. It's uncanny. It's like the RD was years ago. This is the RD of 2022. And it's just uncanny how that happens. It's like, I don't know. Hard to explain. Now, what's nice to me about this bike, it's got a very friendly power band. You don't have to go. It, it redlines at 13.7. You don't have to go anywhere as near that to get power. It'll slide you right off the back of the seat. It's just a nice power band. And every time I pre-flight this bike, actually any bike, I look at all the carbon, part, carbon fiber parts that I made from scratch for this bike, and there are many on this bike, that they don't have a single crack in them or anything that would lead me to believe they're not in it for the long haul.
Another unique part on this bike, a lot of people don't believe it until you take it off and show them, is that tail section. This is one of several that I have. Is made from wood. <laughs> and nobody believes it until you turn the key, take it off, and it's it actually is wood. It's hard to believe. And this really was the kind of day you, you wish would go on forever. But we have family stuff to do, and today is the big Halloween decorating day for the family. So I didn't want to make this a, a, a late day. I wanted to make sure I'm home on time. So just to make this day last a little longer, I totally took the back roads back instead of Route 80. It takes about 15 more extra minutes and it's a few extra miles, but it, it is always the best part of every day ends when you have to get on Route 80 and fight the radar or traffic. And being honest, I thought after 35,000 plus miles, the suspension would start to get a little loose and mushy. Not a chance. It's, it's as good as the day I bought the bike. And I don't know if all of them are like that, or these, this is exceptionally an exceptionally good one. Be honest, I don't care. It's good suspension. Another thing I think about is how many mirrors I've had on this bike, and these are the best ones. And as I look around these blind corners and I want to see what's behind me, and nothing's better than having a set of mirrors that you can actually use. They really work. And as I'm coming near the end of the ride, I look down at the radar detector and I think, well, it saved me a couple of times today, but it saves me almost every day. Almost. It's really a good accessory. And as we pass the last of the lakes on our way back home, this has just been a wonderful day. I look back at every part of it. This part of the country, I am so happy to live in this part of the country. And all these back roads, all these elevation changes, the lakes, the, and we have main roads. And, and if you're, if you're a, a guy that likes to go high speeding it down a main highway, have fun on Route 80. Just make sure you have your radar detector. But we have some of everything. And now it's time to get back to the house. Don't disappoint Karen. She's probably all set to decorate right now, and I know the kids are coming over. We're going to have a great night decorating. Just another beautiful fall day. I just couldn't be nicer. This, we have really lucked out with the weather lately. It looks like we got a, maybe two months more of this. A month and a half or two months. We, our goal is to ride every day possible, and when it's not possible, to work on bikes, try to maintain them, do the maintenance, and maybe do a few mitzvahs for our friends. It's a good life. Hope you enjoy sharing it with us. 
So here on the farm every fall, we have our little tradition. We decorate the house for Halloween. Of course, the kids come and eat the candy and whatever they don't eat, I eat. So we always buy four times the amount we need. Anyway, time to put the bike away. Break out the Halloween decorations. Now, Karen is really uh, fussy about this stuff. These needed a complete restoration. So luckily I had my orange shirt on so that I, if I spray paint it over, I, it, we wouldn't even see it. But anyway, we restored all of the old things we used to put out every year. We've probably had these for longer than I want to remember, but nothing a quick can of spray paint won't take care of. And what's really nice about doing this, all the kids in our neighborhood, and if, any, if you've seen the little block party video I made, people walk the dog past, the dogs past our house every night. Usually our house and the house next door, because he has a dog, they stop off, they chit chat with the dogs and they look at everything. And uh, I guess in, it's just a nice neighborhood is the bottom line here. So we like to keep it up. I try to do a little landscaping myself and just for exercise. This turned out to be a fun project. Something, we had all the spray paint. I didn't even have to go buy the spray paint. That was the best thing of all. So, and the biggest thing, and Karen and I, of course, we've married 32 years. We've done this every year. And, and look at me. Hey, handsome. And what a bride, having a blonde bride. And whenever our family stops over, they always, they always tell Karen and I tell her too, what a great decorating job she always does. Very nice, baby, very nice. Good job. Let's go eat some Halloween candy to celebrate. Of course. I know where it's hiding. You hit it, but I know where it is. She hides it. She thinks I don't know where it is. So we end this day all decorated up for Halloween, inside the house, outside the house. I got the bike ready for another exciting day tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow, the next day, I'll start seeking out some of the people in that riding area where I ride. They really go overboard on these decorations. I have put that on a video before. There's one guy that has about 200 inflatable things on his lawn. I'm not sure they do it every year. But anyway, we do try to ride every day. We try to ride all the bikes. We try to appreciate the fact that we live in a part of the country where we can ride probably legitimately 10 or 11 months a year. And I, I do appreciate having a family and a nice Halloween. So if you enjoyed the video, I hope you share it with your friends. And of course, I hope most of all that we'll see you tomorrow. And thanks again for watching.